Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a new cosplay this week and it is, you guessed it, Dazzler. Her iconic blue makeup. But I did do this cosplay before and I did do like a live video of it on TikTok. It's like a little concert. So if you want to know how all this came to be, then continue watching. Right, so I did my foundation concealer. I used my Maybelline um, Superstay foundation, my Maybelline concealer, and I used my CoverGirl translucent setting powder. I'm gonna use, I haven't used this yet, the Iconic London, oh, you can see my phone, hello. The Iconic London bronzer. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I wanted to try it and it's huge. I'll show you. Look how big that is. I'm gonna go in. So I'm gonna take this from the Harry Potter collection, Ulta Harry Potter collection, the cloak brush, and I'm gonna bronze up. Mmm. Wait. Wait, that's pretty good. I like it. I actually like this brush a lot. It's very soft, but just in case, I'm gonna go over with this powder brush, kind of like blend it out more. You are my new favorite. And this is the ultimate bronzing powder from Iconic London. I love the packaging. Now I'm gonna do the eye makeup. So this is gonna be like the whole blue eyeshadow thing going for Dazzler. I have my James Charles palette here. Many, many colors. But I'm going to take this nude shade just on my finger and I'm gonna pat it around my eyelid kind of to set the um, foundation and concealer that I put over there. I got this at Ulta, it's the I wanted to try it out because I was looking for something better to use uh, to draw the outline of the blue part in her eyes. I had this blue eyeliner that I used, but I went to Ulta today and I found this by Morphe. It is the I Wish Shadow Stick and it has a sharpener too. Okay, so let me show you real quick. This is the eyeshadow stick and then on the bottom, the bottom here is a sharpener isn't that so cool i i'm like blown away i'm gonna go ahead and and use this i do need a picture for reference though because i did it once but i don't remember so let me look that up i have this photo for reference we're gonna attempt this again it did come out really well the first time i do have a tiktok of a uh, my Dazzler cosplay, but let's go ahead and uh, begin. Okay, it's a good thing it's eyeshadow, it means it'll come off easier. I guess I'm gonna start in the corner. I'm like scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did too much. I did too much on an angle. It is what it is. Let's just let's just go in. Okay, I, I kind of fixed it. I just went from the outside in because it seemed like the easiest, but it actually works. And then we're gonna fill it in, probably fill it in with eyeshadow because I'm gonna use all this up if I just color in with this. And eyeshadow is kind of easier to play with. <laughs> Pretty even. 
I kind of just followed like my eyes and eyebrows. I did this first and then I did my best to match this with that. So basically this ended diagonal to the end of my eyebrow. So I kind of did the same thing over here. And same thing with this line right here. It goes towards the center of my eye and I just tried to match it the best I could on this side as well. But it looks good. And when we add the shadow and you know fill everything in, it'll look even better. All right, now I'm going to take this very vibrant blue right here and I'm gonna put that as the base. This is just a regular eyeshadow brush. I think it was like one of the cheaper ones I got a long time ago but I'm gonna take that really vibrant electric blue kind of color and just go all in, fill everything in. I'm going to kind of pack it on, so I'm not gonna like spread it, maybe a little bit, but try and pack it on as much as I can, like dab it on, but you'll see how it comes out. See that? I was trying to find like, um blue face paint, but I couldn't find any. I might just order that on Amazon, but I already had this palette. The only thing I bought was the eyeshadow crayon. It works, it'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera because it is gonna take a while. I will come back and show you the result. Okay, that is the eye makeup done. The blue part, I did the liner, I did mascara, I did my brows. I am going to finish off with lipstick. I'm gonna take my ColourPop lipstick in Still Crazy and apply it. <music> setting spray. I'm gonna take my Morphe setting spray and spray. And now it's time for the wig. The wig cap is on. <laughs> that looked funny. This wig is awesome, by the way. This is the nice blonde wig I got on Amazon. They have different shades, different colors, but it's so nice. Just wait, just wait. All right, so the usual. Bring it to the front, center the hairline, and push the bun in. I'm definitely gonna get some blue on this wig. That is the wig. It's so soft and you can curl it. It's uh, heat resistant. So now I'm gonna put the costume on and I'll show you the whole fit. Here is the full fit. Fit. It's dazzling. A little close up of the costume with the wig, the makeup, nice little belt that this came with. You know what this reminds me of? The Lizzie McGuire movie. Her outfit at the end. Nice. It came with a bag. It came with a disco ball bag. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god. So this is the full outfit, but there's one more thing I need to add. Dazzler ain't Dazzler without her microphone. And it matches too. I have a blue microphone and uh, it matches the whole makeup. I'm just looking at myself in the monitor. It looks so good. What do y'all think? Okay, that is it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. I will leave everything in the description below of where to get all this stuff, all my social media links. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also to my Twitch. I stream on Twitch every week, every Wednesday currently, so do sub to that. And follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Instagram is where I'll like post updates. Anything I post in my story or any videos I post during the week, um, you'll get all the updates through my Instagram. So be sure to follow through there. I had a fun time putting this together. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope this inspires you to also do a Dazzler cosplay. Maybe be Dazzler for Halloween. And that's it. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go down to the disco.